Hi guys, another question of prelims 2022 that is partially solvable through PYQs and partially through common sense is given on the rightmost part of your screen in the column headed prelims 2022 question. In this question, we were given four statements about the T board in India and uh, uh, out of these four statements, you were required to mark the correct statements. Now this question created a lot of confusion in students minds, especially the fourth statement which talked about the overseas offices of T board, right? This statement created fear in students minds and because of this fear, they were afraid that, you know, this is a kind of information which is uh, too exotic or not given in your standard books and they don't know the answer and they either did not mark this question at all or uh, if they marked the question, it was because of this fear that many students marked the answer wrong. But actually, as we'll go through, uh, you know, the processing of this question, we learn that this fear was unfounded and generally these things are not important in marking the answers. So let us uh, read the four statements of this 2022 question. It said with reference to the T board in India, consider the following statements. The first one said the T board is a statutory body. The second said it is a regulatory body attached to the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. The third statement said the T board's head office or headquarter is situated in Bengaluru. And the last one said its uh, overseas offices are located at Dubai and Moscow, right? Come to the respective PYQ. It was asked in the year 2008. And in this question, we were given uh, the important boards and their headquarters and you were asked which board has got headquarters where the answer to this question is bravo the third entry charlie entry is t board and if we look at the charlie entry and bravo option we have the match at the fourth entry number four is kolkata so t board's headquarters is in kolkata that means the third statement of 2022 is incorrect the headquarters the head office is not in bengaluru it's in kolkata if the third statement is incorrect come to the options we have alpha option eliminated we have charlie option eliminated now guys this is how you need to proceed with the question even if this information about overseas offices was there it was too exotic to be known to anybody so if you do not know the answer everyone else also does not know the answer to that particular statement whether uh, it is these two cities only uh, where the overseas offices are situated or not so it, it is too exotic uh, an information to be asked or to be important for marking the answer so the first lesson that we have in this question is whenever you have this kind of exotic information which is not given in your standard books and you cannot even anticipate that this kind of information can be asked such point such information is not important in marking the question now this kind of information is just a mind play of UPSC it is just testing you know whether you can bear that pressure or not these kind of points these kind of statements often either they will get eliminated amongst the options or they will be automatically in the answer just like we have in this particular question the fourth statement is in both the remaining options both bravo and delta have the fourth statement so we don't have to worry about this statement right so whenever you have any exotic foreign information asked in the question don't be afraid about it don't worry don't think too much about it you have to always focus on the standard information the basic things which you are supposed to know which are given in your ncrt's or reference books and in your last one year current affairs that's it beyond that and of course your pyqs beyond that nothing is important you will be able to solve the question any question if you have a good grip over these three four sources so let us now come back to the question now we are left with only two options bravo and delta and i told you like this question is partially sol soluble through pyq so two options out of four eliminated through pyq now comes the common sense part so now you need to pick whether the second statement is correct that is the bravo option or the first statement is correct that is the delta option the second statement talks about the parent ministry of t board and the first statement talks about its statutory or non-statutory nature whatever is the case uh, here so if you 
have paid attention to tbo tbo is a body which you perhaps would have heard it is regularly in the news it is tbo coffee board rubber board etc these bodies are regularly in the news uh, on the business page etc not not very prominently like some schemes or etc not like that but on the business page of newspapers tbo coffee board you will see often appearing in your newspaper now these are so in in that way these are popular bodies important bodies and normally important bodies or popular bodies have a statutory backing so there is a high chance that this particular board would be a statutory body so the first statement has got a higher chance of being correct let us uh go through the second statement also once just to be sure the second statement talks about the parent ministry it is saying ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare is the parent ministry of this body now guys upsc is known to play with such facts when it comes to ministries when it comes to uh, some provisions of some schemes some numbers any any factual data UPSC is known to play with such data UPSC is known to change the names of laws the names of parent ministries etc and therefore going by the history of UPSC and we also have a comparative ministry we have ministry of commerce also that this body could be a part of because it is promoting trade of uh, tea it is promoting exports etc right it could be under ministry of commerce also so we have a very strong competitor to ministry of agriculture it could be ministry of agriculture also but we also have a competing ministry ministry of commerce and also we know this habit of upsc that upsc often plays with such factual things so if you have to pick between 1 and 2 it is better to go with the first statement right because it is a popular body and popular bodies have a higher chance of being statutory we have a solid reason for picking the first statement over the second statement so if you have the risk appetite in this question i would suggest you to go with the first statement mark the first statement as correct if the first statement is correct the best answer to this question would be delta right so this is how guys you need to solve questions not always you will know all the information that the question is asking pyqs can certainly help you in eliminating some options but in certain cases like in this one you have to apply common sense you have to apply elimination and the most important thing here is that you know what is there in your standard books your ncrts your reference books last one year current affairs and pyqs from 1979 onwards this is your battlefield right you need to be aware of your battlefield what is there in these three four sources you must be aware of and then beyond that don't worry don't don't have that fear in your mind when you practice as you practice elimination uh, you know this this filtering will come you you will develop that eye of looking at where upsc can set traps so then after that after knowing that information it is just a matter of practicing uh, elimination common sense etc and you will uh, polish your question solving ability so guys uh, that will be all in today's question this question will be a part of the repeat questions analysis uh, pdf for prelims 2022 the pdf cost rupees uh, 99 all the details regarding its purchase will be given in the description of this video thank you for joining me today see you next time